What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikalki here and I am back with another video and this wasn't the video that I expected I was going to be making today but since the NHL All-Star lineup was just announced for 2018 I figured I'd come down here and make a quick video. I've got the full roster on my phone here so I can help you guys uh, learn the names that you will see at the NHL All-Star game in 2018 in Tampa Bay. So we're going to just start with the Atlantic Division and uh, I'm going to tell you um, via NHL.com if it's their first appearance in the All-Star game. So we're going to get right into it. Like I said, the Atlantic Division is going to have Alexander Barkov. Uh, that, this is his first, obviously, coming from the Florida Panthers, having a good season. Jack Eichel from Buffalo, this is his first as well. So well-deserved. Eichel is always uh, trying to put up points and make his team better every day. Uh, Nikita Kucherov, this is his second, not a big surprise here. And Tampa Bay is well re represented in, in this uh, All-Star game, which they should be. Um, Brad Marchand from Boston, it's only his second All-Star game, which surprises me a little bit. Um, we got Austin Matthews from Toronto. This is his second All-Star game. Congratulations, I'm a Leaf fan. Obviously, that's a cool one for me. Uh, Steven Stamkos from Tampa Bay. This is his fifth. Uh, so congratulations to Tampa. It's got an asterisk beside it, but I'm guessing that means because he's the captain. So um, good on Stamkos. He really deserves it. Uh, Mike Green for defenseman now. Uh, he This is his second All-Star game appearance. He's been putting up points, so that's really good for him. Victor Hedman, this is his second. Again, a little bit of a surprise for me. Tampa Bay, again, being well represented uh, as they deserve to. Uh, Eric Carlson from Ottawa had a slow start, picked it back up. He's got uh, like 30 points right now, I think in like 36 or 37 games. Uh, this is his fifth appearance in the All-Star game. And for goaltenders, Carey Price. Now, I've seen a lot of people complaining uh, about Price being named to the All-Star game, um, but I really don't have a problem with it. This is his sixth appearance. Sixth? Make sure I say that properly. Uh, Vasilevsky from Tampa Bay, again, being well represented. This is his first having a fantastic season, very underrated. And head coach for the Atlantic Division is John Cooper from... You guessed it, Tampa Bay Lightning. This is his first appearance. Again, coaching his team to a great record so far. Definitely deserves it. So, for the Metro, uh, we got Josh Bailey from the Islanders. This is his first. Sidney Crosby, his third. Uh, Claude Giroux, his fifth. Uh, Taylor Hall from the Devils, this is his third. I forgot to name the teams, but you guys know. Ovechkin from Washington, this is his seventh. Again, um, the captain, so he's got the star beside him. John Tavares, this is his fifth. Uh, Noah Hannafin, this is his first. Congratulations to him. Seth Jones from Columbus, this is his second. Uh, Chris Letang, this is his fourth. Now Letang, um, I mean, it surprises me a little bit. Uh, Brayden Holpe, this is his third. And Hendrik Lundqvist, and this is his fourth. So some two pretty solid goaltenders there. And Barry Trotz, and this is his third time coaching in the All-Star game. So uh, not a huge surprise. Very impressed with the way he's done, uh, what he's done with Washington. Although they can't take that next step, but that's not all on him. Uh, for the Central Division, we got Patrick Kane, and this is his seventh. Can't go wrong with Patty Kane. Nathan McKinnon, this is his second. Uh, Braden Shen from St. Louis, well-deserved of quietly having a fantastic year. A lot of people don't talk about him. This is his first appearance. I'm going to be talking about Braden Shen and the St. Louis Blues very soon. Um, we got Tyler Sagan. This is his fifth from Dallas. Uh, Eric Stahl, Minnesota, his fifth. Again, this is very well-deserved for him. Uh, Blake Wheeler from Winnipeg, this is his first. There will be many more for him. John Klingberg, again, having a fantastic year. This is his first. Um, Alex Petrangelo, this is his first from St. Louis. St. Louis being well represented, I like that. Uh, P.K. Subban, this is his third, and I believe he is the captain. That's why the star is there. Uh, Connor Hallebuck, very cool to see him in there for Winnipeg. Uh, and Pecorine from Nashville, so this is that's his second appearance. And Peter Laviolette uh, from Nashville, this is his third. So no Patrick Laine. Um, I, he, he's been having a good season, but I guess um, there's a lot of Winnipeg players here, so they're being well represented. Um, so last but not least, the Pacific Division. Uh, Brock Besser, his first from Vancouver. Congratulations, he's been fantastic. I know him and Matthews had a little bit of a chirp show there, but I can't deny that they're both fantastic, so congrats to him. Johnny Gaudreau from Calgary, his fourth appearance. I love Gaudreau, congrats. Um, Anze Kopitar, this is his fourth from the Kings, of course. Connor McDavid from Edmonton, his second straight appearance. Uh, he's got the star beside him. Uh, we got James Neal from Vegas. This is his third appearance. Nice to see Vegas in there, of course. Um, Ricard Raquel from Anaheim. This is his first. Brent Burns. This is his fifth um, from San Jose. Uh, Drew Doughty from the Kings. This is his fourth appearance. Very well deserved. Love Drew Doughty. Oliver Ekman Larson from Arizona. This is his second appearance. Marc-Andre Fleury from Vegas. This is his third appearance. 
And uh, Jonathan Quick, uh, this is his third appearance, and head coach Gerard Gallant from Vegas, and this is his second appearance. Second appearance. So um, yeah, Vegas being well represented, Tampa. Everybody in here is obviously deserving. Um, I'm gonna put the article down below. All Star Game in Tampa Bay. It should be a good one. Lots of great names on there. Very powerful, powerful All Star Game. We're gonna see lots of great young stars. Lots of good stars. I've been in the league for a while now. Um, let me know if any of your favorite players got snubbed. I feel like Freddie. Anderson should have been in there. He's been fantastic. I'm a little bit disappointed with that because I think he should be in there. Also, I'm going to put this in here. I forgot to record it. I actually just came back to record this quick piece here. Where's Voracek? As I was walking away, I'm like, wait a second. I don't think I said his name. Voracek and Phil Kessel. Those guys, both of them in there. Uh, I, I think... I'm not sure how exactly they could have got in there, um, who would have came out, but that's up to whoever decides this, and I know some of it's fan voted, but yeah, Voracek probably should have been in there. Um, let me know what you guys think about who should be in the All-Star game or who shouldn't be. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.